15 days in jail for a protest demanding the release of political prisoners. 51 minutes into the World Cup final on Sunday, four members of the feminist punk group Pussy Riot stormed the pitch, dressed as police officers. One activist was able to give French star Kylian Mbappe a double high five. Another was less lucky, tackled by Croatian player Dejan Lovren. The disruption lasted barely a minute before security hauled them away. Kylian Mbappe is fantastic. I'm very glad he reacted like he did. He probably wasn't overjoyed about my high fives, but we made eye contact and I think I brought his team good luck. Detained in Moscow awaiting jail, the group once again justified its actions. What we did should be seen as a metaphor for how the Russian state, through its law enforcement, illegally interferes with the everyday lives of Russian citizens. This leads to the absence of political competition and political prisoners being detained. It's a very complex issue. Among Pussy Riot's demands, the release of political prisoners and greater restrictions on the powers of the police. The group made a name for itself back in 2012 when its balaclava-clad members staged a raucous performance denouncing Russian President Vladimir Putin in Moscow's main cathedral. Two of Pussy Riot's founding members were sent to prison for nearly two years as a result, convicted of hooliganism motivated by religious hatred.